Today we're looking at everyone's favorite live trace. So what I have is a starting document. I have a scanned image here. It's actually uh, from Photoshop. You can see the image is a PSD file. Anyways, it's in here. It's its own layer. Okay, it's a snowboard layer, and then there's a background layer. When I have this selected, I can ch uh, choose live trace. It appears up here. Live trace will convert this into a vector drawing. If I click expand, there it is. There's all my little vector drawing lines. I'm going to control Z here, edit undo. Um, just before that, I want to choose some of the other presets. Maybe comic art. It works a little bit better. You can try different ones. See what it looks like. Comic art will work well for this one. Um, this threshold here, sometimes you have to change if you end up with little holes in the snowboard. If it cuts off too much or makes uh, too many different sections, we'll see what happens. 200 we'll start with. Expand. So now I've got these all as vector drawing lines now. You can see all the pen points. But it's been grouped with the background and the snowboard. Everything's been grouped together. So I'm going to right click and ungroup. Now the background is separate from the snowboarder. Okay, so I'll choose the background. Click in the background. Hit delete. Now I have just the snowboarder. Now if I start moving things, you'll see, whoops, it doesn't work. So I need to group this snowboarder. Since the snowboarder is its own layer, I can just go select all. And now the snowboarders, all the little pieces are selected. I can right click group, and I have my snowboarder. Now if you end up where there's a hole, like say this has been hollowed out when you deleted the background, that's where you'd want to go back and change that threshold. Okay, so here's our snowboarder. Let's add a little star, put it on a new layer. It's a new layer. Put a little star up here. Ta da! There's our star. Maybe let's make this star green. Everyone likes green stars. Ah, the dreaded grayscale problem. Um, for some reason, uh, well, it depends on the color settings. If you get this where it just keeps coming up as gray, click this little drop down there and see it's on grayscale. And we can change it to CMYK or GB or whatever you want. And now I have my green star. Let's give it a stroke. Red? No, yeah, red maybe would be good. Christmas, a little Christmas star. There. Okay, there you go. Save it. Always save.